Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 2, linear equations in one variable. Exercise 2.2 See now question number 1. If you subtract 1 by 2 from a number and multiply the result by 1 by 2, you get 1 by 8. What is the number? Let us see the solution. Let the number be x. According to the sum, 1 by 2 is subtracted from the number. So, x minus 1 by 2. And that number is going to multiply by 1 by 2. So, into 1 by 2. Then the result will be 1 by 8. So, equal to 1 by 8. So, we have written x minus 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. That equals to 1 by 8. Now, we shall write this x minus 1 by 2 as it is. Here, 1 by 2 is there. On transposing, it becomes 2 by 1. So, we have written here 2 by 8. See the next step x minus 1 by 2 that equals to 2 by 8 on cancellation with 2 table. We got here 2 table 2 1s are 2, 2 4s are 8. So x minus 1 by 2 equals to 1 by 4. In the next step x equal to minus 1 by 2 on transposing it becomes plus 1 by 2. So x equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2. 4 and 2 after doing LCM we will get LCM value is 4. So, write on by 4. Now, take the numerator part. 1 into 4 table 4 is 1 times. So, 1 into 1 plus 1 into 2 table 4 is 2 times. So, 1 into 2. That equals to 1 1 is 1 plus 1 2 is 2. So, 1 plus 2 3 and write on the denominator 4. Therefore, we got here x value as 3 by 4. See now question number 2. The perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is... 154 meters. Its length is 2 meters more than twice its breadth. What are the length and breadth of the pool? Let us see the solution. Given that perimeter of rectangular swimming pool is 154 meters. Let breadth of the pool be x meters. According to the sum, length of the pool is 2 meters more than twice its breadth. So, Length equals to twice its breadth that means 2x. 2 meters more than twice its breadth means 2x plus 2. Therefore length value is 2x plus 2 meters. See now perimeter of rectangle formula 2 into length plus breadth. Next step 2 into length plus breadth equals to already they have given perimeter of rectangle swimming pool is 154 meters. So, we have written here that equals to 154. That implies 2 into length value is 2x plus 2 plus breadth value is x that equals to 154. That implies 2 into 2x plus x, 3x plus 2 that equals to 154. Here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by. So, 3x plus 2 equals to 154 by 2. That implies 3x plus 2 that equals to 2 table 77 times 154. So we have written here that equals to 77. That implies 3x equal to plus 2 on transposing it becomes minus 2. So 3x equal to 77 minus 2. That implies 3x equal to 77 minus 2 that is 75. Next step x equal to 75. Here 3 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by so x equal to 75 by 3. 3 table 25 times 75. So we got x value as 25. We know breadth is x that equals to 25 meters. Next length is 2x plus 2. Let us substitute x value in this. So 2 into x value 25 plus 2. 2 into 25 that is 50 plus 2. So that equals to 52 meters. Therefore, length of the rectangular pool is 52 meters and breadth is 25 meters. See now question number 3. The base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 centimeter. The perimeter of the triangle is 4 2 by 15 centimeter. What is the length of either of the remaining equal sides? We know in an isosceles triangle two sides will be equal. 
So in this question we need to find those equal sides length. Let us see the solution. Given base of an isosceles triangle is 4 by 3 cm. Perimeter of the triangle is 4 2 by 15 cm. This is mixed fraction. So let us convert this into improper. 15 fours are 60 plus 2 that is 62 by 15 cm. Let length of equal sides of triangle be x cm. According to the sum, perimeter of the triangle is sum of the three sides of triangle. So we have added all the three sides. Base 4 by 3 and equal sides x plus x that equals to they have given already in the question perimeter of the triangle is 62 by 15. That implies x plus x 2x that equals to 62 by 15 plus 4 by 3 on transposing it becomes minus 4 by 3. Next step that implies 2x equal to for 15 and 3 we have done LCM 3 table 3 ones are 3, 3 by is are 15. So LCM is 3 into 5 that is 15. So we have written here LCM value 15. Now write on the numerator 62 into 15 table 15 is 1 time. Write on minus numerator 4 into 3 table 15 is 5 times. So multiply by 5. That implies 2x equal to 62 into 1. 62 minus 4 5 is 20 by 15. That implies 2x equal to 62 minus 20 that is 42 by 15. That implies x equal to 42 by 15 into here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by that is 1 by 2. Here 2 table 42 is 21 times. Now we got here x value 21 by 15. Both were cancelled in 3 table that is 7 times 21 and 3 table 5 times 15. So we got x value as 7 by 5. See now question number 4. Sum of two numbers is 95. If one exceeds the other by 15, find the numbers. Let us see the solution. Let one of the number be x. Then the other number becomes x plus 15. According to the sum, sum of the two numbers is equal to 95. So x plus x plus 15 equals to 95. That implies x plus x to x plus 15 that equals to 95 that implies 2x equal to 95 plus 15 on transposing it becomes minus 15 that implies 2x equal to 95 minus 15 that is 80 x equal to 80 by here 2 is going to multiply on transposing it becomes divided by 2 table 40 times 80 therefore we got x value as 40 now first number is x that equals to 40. Second number is x plus 15 that equals to 40 plus 15 that is 55. Therefore the required two numbers are 40 and 55. Today we have seen class 8 chapter 2 linear equations in one variable. Exercise 2.2 1 to 4 sums. In the next video, we shall see remaining sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.